another day another CSP tutorial when will it end today I want to talk about uh, the new Denga controls auto action set that I've been working on for the past few days Neglect, <laughs> neglecting all my work but uh, yeah so to s open up auto action go to Windows auto action and uh, you can either download it from the description below or go to CSP uh, assets uh, I'll provide that link as well uh, once you've downloaded it just go to this hamburger icon import set and then just import Genga controls boom all of it here you should switch to button mode for max efficiency because it just lets you press it uh, so all right, let's let's make a new animation so uh, let me get rid of this there are three types of Genga layers you could work with. So, normal Genga layers, which is provides you with the standards, uh, just blue shade and yellow highlights. Mega Genga layers, which uh, provides you with two additional shading lines, uh, shading layers, and extra Genga layers provides you with four additional shading layers. Right, and to clear all of them, let's say you want to clear all the cells and the layers. And, and the folders, just just click uh, cell delete all, then click no. All right. uh, for this demonstration, let's work with mega ganga layers. So just click this, click 10 times on threes to make 10 of these cells on threes. All right. So if I were to be working without the auto action and I want to switch to, uh, okay, let's say, uh, let me make some lines here. And uh, I'm done making lines. The, this is my Genga. And then I want to switch to blue line. Originally, I would have to go to every single frame and then click blue line, blue line, blue line. It's, it's inefficient. So what this auto action does is when you click blue line here, it goes to blue, it goes to blue line for all uh, cells. And without even changing the color, you could just make blue lines because I already made the auto action set it, the layer color to blue. And this works for every single uh, layers you see on the auto action. So that's pretty cool. Let's say you only want to delete, uh, you only want to uh, delete the blue line. So you just click a uh, layer clear and then it, oh, I'm on yellow line, sorry. So you, you actually have to click the blue line first and then clear layer. If you want to clear it for all, all the cells, just click uh, layer clear all. Then blue line will be eradicated from its existence. Uh, if you want to clear all of this, all of the, the layers, just click uh, just click cell clear, I, I think. Yeah, cell clear, there you go. And you want to clear it for all, cell clear all. Yeah, clear cut, all good. And if you want to clear uh, the individual cells, uh, no, if you want to delete, sorry, if you want to remove or delete it, just click layer clear delete. And delete for all, cell delete all. Okay, uh, click no after this. Yeah. All right, so let's do a quick demonstration, a bouncing ball demonstration, right? So I'll do a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. It's not the best bouncing ball, but it'll do. And uh, if I want to, the timeline to end here, I could just go to the timeline controls and end that current frame. Boom, and then it ends here. All right now, let's go to the blue line. So, just one, two, three, four, and five. Now, you could uh, go to blue shade and then just fill it like with bucket tool. But I added a feature if, if like, for simple stuff like this. And you're too lazy to go all the way. Uh, I added a auto fill function. If I could just delete it, I added a thing called a lazy shader. So I added uh, 25 pixels, 50, and 100 pixels in case like the drawing doesn't, uh, the, in case the function doesn't work. You can try the others. So let's try 25 pixels. Doesn't work. 50 pixels works. All right. So 50 pixels. You could either do that for 50 pixels or you could full sweep lazy shader blue shade mode let's go so that this uh, function lets you blue shade for all cells so let's just try that Boom. no cuts no cuts no cuts no cuts oh my god lets you shade for all cells isn't that really cool oh my gosh
uh, red line time. So just click red line for the highlights. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Then to shade it, easily shade it with yellow, just click full sweep, lazy shader, yellow, highlights. Since this is the small one, I think 25 pixels is good. Then just wait, boom, okay, now all automatically shaded. Okay, let's say you want, if we remove the paper, you'll see there's no white base. Let's say you want a white base, I got you. Full sweep, white base fill, just click that. Boom, it's all in white base. Let's say, but again, is it really all in white base? There's a blue shade obstructing the view. Okay, okay. Let's go to blue shade and hide layer. See, do you see it's full, it's full white now? Huh? You believe me now? Okay, show, let's show layer by sh uh, showing layer. Let's say, okay, let's say you don't like blue. You have a personal agenda towards blue. Smurfs and all that. Uh, maybe you want to make it green. So all you have to do is uh, select blue shade and then select the color you want, like green, and then click change to specific color, and then it will change uh, to green for all the cells. And let's hide the blue line by blue line hide layer. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, same with it, the same goes for all the layers, by the way. So let's say white base, white base, I want this to be uh, yellowish. I want this to be yellowish, and then just do change to specific color. There we go. If you want the blue shade to be in its original color, just click blue shade, change to original color. And I'll turn back to blue shade. If you want it to be multiplied, just click multiply uh, blue shade, like a specific layer, and click multiply layer. And then it will multiply for all folders, uh, all cells. Going back to normal, just click normal layer. If you want to vectorize the lines, just click vectorize line. And it'll vectorize the line. See, I'll even prove it. Boom. It's vectorized. If you want to rasterize the line back, just click rasterize. Then boom, back in raster. For all cells. Uh, it's one of the advantages of working with uh, no pressure pen, uh, no pen pressure uh, brush. It, it lets you switch from vector to raster. But if you're working in, with like G pen, normal G pen, for example, uh, that works as well. You, you can work in G pen, honestly. It does, does not matter. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so let's say uh, I added a couple more features like blurred clip. So blurred clip just blurs the okay. Let's uh, blue shade. I'm, I want to blur the blue shade because smooth shading. So I'll just click blur clipped. Then it it will it will just blur it. It's it's a bit janky, honestly. Uh, rather fix that. Actually, I'm too lazy to fix that. You guys could do whatever with it. So to unblur, just click unblur. It should fix everything. And I added a clip function. So this clip functions will clip everything here onto the white base. Uh, what, what, why is the white base clipped? Uh, 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 never mind. So just click clipped uh, clip, and then it will clip everything to white base. If an unclip. Please hold the technical difficulties. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so if like ev if anything goes wrong, you could always just go to layer tab and make the hierarchy great again. Uh, what? Why did, what I, why did I say that? Uh, yeah. So clip all lets you just clip everything to the white base. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Now it works. Let's you clip everything to the white base. To unclip all, just do that. Boom. Right, that's cool. Um, Alright, let's say I want to duplicate one of the th one of the cells here. Okay, just to do that, just click that cell and then click where is it? Click duplicate cell. Boom. Oh my god, it didn't work. How is this possible? Well, I'll tell you why, because you didn't go to uh, you see this yellow HL copy? You don't want the copy. Uh, so just go to uh, File, Preferences, and go to Layer Frame, change no name of copies to Do Not Rename, okay, and then you just delete, oh, shit, fuck. Uh, ju you can just delete that, and then when you press Duplicate Cell now, it should work, uh, Rename Timeline, boom, now 
you can duplicate cell with all the layers in the correct order. That's the most important part. Yeah, cool stuff. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums up uh, Gengen Controls V1.0. So you can have fun with it. You can change colors so that as maybe you could follow your own productions uh, color set day or some stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you have fun with it. Um, bye.